This module is entitled Your Prompt. Because it's in the Customizing the Shell chapter, we can assume that that means how to customize your prompt. There is actually an environment variable that is used to change your prompt. Let's have a look at it. It's called PS1. PS1 is actually the environment variable that contains the text that represents your exact shell prompt. Which implies, of course, that we can change our prompt at any moment. Let's see if we can actually do that now. So, all I need to do theoretically is type in PS1. Notice that the P and the S have to be in capitals. Followed by an equal sign. Followed by the text of the prompt that I wish to have. Hello, for example. Now, theoretically, my prompt should change. And it has. Now, I simply have the word hello as my prompt. I used to have my username followed by the machine name followed by my directory name followed by a dollar sign followed by a space. And now I've just got the word hello. So I think, well, what if I want to make it a little bit more sophisticated? What about PS1 equals hello there? No, that didn't quite work. Remember, I've got to put double quotes around that. Did that deliberately? PS1 equals hello there. And now I might also put a greater than sign and a little space and another double quote. So now I should get a little greater than sign as well and a little space between the greater than sign and the flashing cursor. And that seems to be working. So as you can see, it's a very simple matter to change your prompt at any, at any time. What's very interesting to note is that certain shells, such as the corn shell and the bash, born again shell, offer what we call dynamic prompts. In other words, these are prompts that actually change depending on certain conditions. Notice that if you're using the regular born shell, you cannot change your prompt to a dynamic prompt. You can change your prompt, but not to anything dynamic. And the things that you might want to include in a dynamic prompt might be the current working directory. Well, we've seen that already. The current date and time, you can have that in there as well. The current machine name, the current user, the current command history number, or the results of any program. Note that uh, most of these will work in the bash. Sorry, all of these will work in the bash because that's what I'm demonstrating them in but they won't necessarily work in any other shell. So let's try them. PS1 equals, now I'm going to put a backslash and then a backwards quote. This is a special backwards quote. It's not your regular forward single quote. And then date and then another backslash and another back quote and then say a column. How about that? And notice that, that the date now becomes my prompt and every time I press enter I get a slightly different prompt. Notice that the seconds are changing each time. Or I can have uh, PS1 equals quote, double, that's double quote there, then a backslash dollar PWD which stands for present working directory then say a greater than sign and a space and then another close quote. And now it gives me the current directory that I happen to be in. And if I CD up to my parent directory, then that actually changes, just as you would expect a dynamic quote to actually change. Now I could get really clever. Remember how I said I could have the results of any program being my prompt? Well, let's try that. I'm going to get the results of the WHO program and the WC program piped together and make them both my prompt. I'm going to find out how many users are logged into the system. Now I would do that using well, I'll show you how I would do it. I'd say who pipe to WC minus L. That tells me how many users are currently logged in. So I'd like that little 58 to be my prompt. So I do it like this. PS1 equals, then backslash, back quote, who pipe to WC minus L. And then a backslash and a back quote. And let's put a little colon in there for good measure. And, of course, I forgot to put the double quotes around the outside, so I'll try that again. PS1 equals double quotes. Well, I'll just finish it. There, it's all finished and done. And 
my new prompt is just the number 58 followed by a colon, as you can see. So theoretically, if somebody logged in, my prompt would then automatically change to 59 the next time I pressed enter. Be nice if it did it for me now, but I'm guessing I'm not going to be lucky. Oh well. Anyway, if you want to find out all the options that are available to you for changing your prompt, simply look in the manual page for the shell that you're using, in other words, Bash or the Corn Shell or whatever, and do a little search for PS1 in the manual page.